Hey guys, welcome back. It's Jeffrey with Achieve Ed. Today, we're going to be talking about six cliche essay topics that you should avoid. Basically, these are super common essay topics that I think I see way too much and it would be best if you avoided these topics. Now, of course, that does not mean in every case that you avoid these topics, but I'm saying in most cases, if given an option between one of these cliche topics and another more unique topic, you should try to choose the unique topic more. Um, and I'm gonna explain why for each of these topics in just a second. Now quickly, I do wanna make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel if you haven't already. We're gonna be posting a lot of college advice videos in the upcoming weeks, so you definitely wanna stay tuned so you don't miss a single upload. Okay, so getting right into this list here, the first cliche topic that you should try to avoid is the immigrant parent essay. Basically, these essays take the form of, you know, you have some kind of immigrant parent or immigrant grandparent, something like that, uh, you know, they came to the U.S. with like $20 in their back pocket or whatever. Um, you know, they worked hard, they made a living for themselves, and now you want to like carry on their legacy or you want to like make your parents proud or something like that. Um, it usually takes that kind of variation. Um, and I'm saying that this is a very, very common topic. Like I have personally read a lot of essays uh, that are kind of structured like this. And it's not a bad essay. It's not a meaningless essay. But I'm saying that is this just too common. It is too common of an essay and also too common of an experience. Like a lot of students in the US have immigrant parents or have immigrant grandparents or come from an immigrant family. And it's gonna be hard in your essay to show how your experience was somehow unique or special because there's just simply so many other immigrant families out there and they probably had a somewhat similar experience, you know, as your parents. Another problem with this essay topic is that when you're writing about your parent or your grandparent or whoever that immigrant is, um, the essay can often become more about that person than it is about you, right? So like these essays are probably spending, you know, at least a couple of paragraphs talking about their parent and talking about, you know, what they went through or at least summarizing that part. And that's a lot of word space that is not focused on yourself. And with the Common App essay, the biggest thing to keep in mind is that you want to focus the essay on yourself. Obviously, it's your application, right? So you want to be writing about yourself. And if you're writing about an immigrant parent, it's very easy to just start shifting focus and making the essay about the other person rather than about yourself. Um, so that's kind of another problem with this essay topic, another reason to avoid it. Okay, so now moving on to number two here, uh, we got this kind of like, helping homeless person on the street essay. Um, and you know, this can take many forms. It doesn't have to be, you know, a homeless person. It doesn't have to be on the street. Uh, but this kind of general idea of like, you see some random person and you go ahead and help them. And it's not a bad thing to do, right? It's not, it's not like a purely bad topic, but it's just very cliche, right? Because first of all, again, I've read a lot of essays that have to do with this kind of thing. Um, but also like, again, this is a very common experience that a lot of people go through. And with that comes the problem of like, okay, how do you write a unique essay that actually teaches a unique lesson to the reader or, you know, actually show something unique about yourself uh, that, you know, is not true for all the millions and thousands of other people that have also like helped homeless people. And also another reason why this topic might not be best to write about is that with this kind of essay, I think often um, the lesson is very superficial. In most of these, of these kind of cases, right, you're, you're kind of doing this action, but then you're kind of going about your day, right? Like, honestly, it probably means more to that homeless person that you help them than it means to you helping them. When you're actually writing your essay, how are you actually going to write a whole essay about this one experience, right? Um, you know, you can try to make things up, you can try to write more into that experience than actually happened, um, but it's just gonna be very hard. And I think it's just better to avoid this kind of topic and like write about something else. All right, moving on to number three here. This is kind of similar to the last one. It's the overseas service trips essays. The thing with these kinds of essays is kind of similar to the last one, right? Um, it's kind of a superficial lesson. So first of all, yeah, you're going overseas to help people, which is cool, but like, there's also people in your own community who probably need help. So like, why are you, you know, going overseas for that? Un unless there's some like very special reason, if you're just going overseas, you know, just for some service trip or whatever, you know, just for that, 
admissions officers are going to suspect that like okay maybe you're going more for the almost like the vacation right and and you know i'm not to downplay the impact that these overseas trips make because i'm sure they make some impact right but it's just not a very powerful essay all right next up here number four is the costco essay um so if you guys don't know what the costco essay is it's basically this essay uh, that was published in business insider like uh, a few years back um it was by this student like the article was like how this student got into like five ivies with this essay and they like published the essay in that article i'll link it down below for you guys to read if you don't know about it but uh, the key point here is you should not copy this essay or like try to model after it or anything like that because that essay was published it's become very cliche and very common like anybody can search up like common app sample and that'll probably come up so a lot of people are like kind of modeling after that um ever since that essay was published but also beyond that i think it's important to note that just because that essay worked for that particular student um, it doesn't mean it'll work for everyone, right? Because first of all, that essay was written like many years ago when the college admissions process was less competitive. Also, you don't know much about that student's background, right? You don't know about their extracurricular activities or their grades or anything like that. So just using, getting their essay and inferring everything from that is, is not really a good way to look at it. And lastly, um, just actually critiquing the essay itself. Basically, the Costco essay is about this analogy to Costco, like the store, and the student kind of like uh, uses Costco as this big analogy for her life. I think she did it pretty well. It's like a well-written essay, but it's very hard to pull off. I once read an essay um, about a student who tried to like use a smoothie as an analogy. Um, it, it, like, it's just very hard to do, and like, I just would not recommend it, right? And if you're trying to like be unique or be creative for the sake of being creative, then I don't think you should do that. I think you should just, it's much better just to write an, like a good solid essay on a topic that maybe some other people are writing about, but it's also very unique to you rather than just being like creative and unique just for that sake. All right, number five on this list is the sports injury. This is kind of the essay where you're talking about, you know, you got some kind of injury when playing a high school sport or whatever, and you know, you kind of like overcome that, you learn about teamwork, blah, 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 blah. Similar to a lot of these cliche topics, the lessons are often superficial. What kind of lesson are you learning from a sports injury that is very, very unique, right? Like I can probably list what you're gonna say at the top of my head like you're gonna say something about teamwork or like perseverance or or whatnot right that kind of thing um and like these are good values but like just using a sports injury to display that i think is too common of an essay topic all right final thing on this list is number six the listing your resume essay this is cliche obviously um, but also like I just don't think it's a good essay topic at all. They already have your activities list and your resume uh, in your application. Like there's literally no need just to like repeat most or all of that in your common app essay. That's just a waste of space. Rather, I think, um, you know, it's much more important in your common app essay to talk about things that are not uh, displayed or demonstrated in the other parts of your application. So things like personal feelings, reactions and you know inner stuff like that that is just not displayed through a resume that is much much better um and a like very important caveat on this is that when i say list your resume i mean literally like list your resume like just talk about your activities however i think it is often a, actually a good idea to talk about one of your extracurricular activities in your common app essay um i think that's you know a good idea if you're kind of developing that and again talking about you know, your personal feelings and, and all that stuff. Um, I think that's a good idea, but just not like purely listing out your resume with no elaboration or anything like that. I do want to quickly note before we end that if you guys are interested in a one-on-one -on -one free consultation with the Achieve Ed team, you can go ahead and click the link in the description. We'll spend 30 minutes with you answering all your questions. We can review your essays. We can do all that stuff. Again, it is all free. Uh, so click the link in the description to sign up. I know college application deadlines are coming up pretty soon, so we definitely want to help you guys out throughout these next couple weeks. Other than that, that is going to be it for this video. Thank you all for watching, and until next time, I'll see you guys later. Peace.